hi guys yes welcome 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 back i know it's been a long time since we had makeup content on this channel if you are new here my name is vivian medicine i do beauty lifestyle fashion all around fun content watch my vlogs you'll enjoy it and if you are new here welcome to our channel welcome to the family if you are not thank you for always coming back i love you on today's video like it is in the title i'm going to be testing our new makeup that i got as pr package and this is what it looks like this is ruba beauty i know that you'd have seen it in the vlog that i did the previous vlog and if not i would just leave a um, clip on the screen of me unboxing and just talking about the product so i'm just going to go right into it straight up today i don't want the video to be long at all i already have a tutorial i have a tutorial of eyeshadow eyebrow face lips on my youtube here so you just go and watch it follow me on instagram to see my makeup videos watch my shorts to see my makeup videos so i don't want this video to be long at all i'm just going to get right into it talk about the product and that's it so if you like to see how i created this look out of the products that i got in this bag <laughs> stay tuned so the first thing is this latex beauty sponge that comes in a black carbon and i'm just going to be opening it up and it looks like this this is what it looks like dry so i'm going to be wetting it and telling you guys what i feel soft so far i like the angles like i said and let's begin so guys i already wet it so i'm just going to start blending out my foundation now the brush is wet it's really soft so i'm just basically blending my whole face with the beauty blender i already used the foundation i'm not going to be talking about the foundation because the um, the focus of this video today is the products that this brand sent me so it's really doing a very good job let me look at the mirror before I do rubbish so yeah it's doing a very good job as you can see I already blended most of this side out and just remains this side I'm also going to be blending my concealer with this beauty blender. That's the next step that I'm going to be doing now. Now that all this is blended in. The, conceal the beauty blender doesn't take products in, unlike most product um, beauty sponges. I'm <laughs> saying beauty blender. Unlike most beauty sponges, this one doesn't soak up all your products. It just like blend it out and I love that about it I love like the fact that the color is black no 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 this did a very good job let's be honest you guys can see it did a really 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 good job so let's do the concealer and guys if you look properly you see that i already blended this because i'm filming on instagram so i'm filming for instagram reels so i already blended this part as you see that i already added concealer there so i'm just going to be blending this on my nose here on camera for you guys to see the beauty blender is doing a very very great job like a very 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 great job so let me blend it out I'm just tapping it tapping it like that Yes, I'm so blended because my concealer dries really fast, so I am trying to rush so it doesn't dry and it becomes so hard to blend. But this beauty blender makes it this beauty sponge. I don't know why I keep saying beauty blend, like push up on my skin and leg. This beauty sponge from Yububa Beauty blends so 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 well. I'm, I'm very serious. So I'm just tapping motions and don't clean my nose this time. Tapping, tapping motions, tapping motions like that. And the reason why I'm like doing this part over and over again is because my concealer dries fast. So it's like dried already. So I'm just trying to blend. And my hands are 
hurting because <sighs> okay so bring that bring that yeah now that all that is blended i'm going to be using the same brush the same beauty sponge but the back of it to apply my setting powder so i applied some setting powder and i'm just going to press it in to my skin It's getting into all the corners of my of my eyes and that is really really good. I feel like they made the shape because they made it this shape because of all these reasons so I can get into all the look and crannies. Set this place, let's set the other one. Before I said I'm just going to quickly blend it out. Just like that, I'm just going to Instagram to continue my face. So I've gone ahead to do my face, my eyebrow, and my contour, my highlights, all of that stuff. I've prepped my eyes. So the next product I'm going to be using is the Ruba Beauty Divine Stars Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm guessing this is a flat, dense brush to just pack on eyeshadow and use. So that's what we're going to be doing now. I'm going to be creating a look and you know getting on with it i'll show you guys what it looks like very soon so stay tuned okay, so not knowing what to do has already made me overdo so i'm just going to quickly 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 create this look here for you guys on the second eye because well, we'll overdo. <laughs> so let me just do it here for you guys so i took this shade what the inside of it looks like it has a mirror and it looks like this so i took this shade here this shade is called kindness yeah i love this book i'm obsessed with these shades right here like i am obsessed so i took this kindness shade and i just put it all over my not all over like half of my lid area not far above so that i can still be able to use the um white liner on it this shade is pigmented guys yeah, like it is pigmented Pigmented. Just look at it now. Like, you don't even have to do too much, and it doesn't have fallouts. This eyeshadow is great, no fallouts. I'm so happy because with this kind of colors in eyeshadows, you tend to get fallouts, but this one is not even doing that at all. At all. So now that I've done that, the next thing is for me to take this shade pleasant here. And just take it and just kind of use it on my outer corner so right now I'm just packing the shade pleasant on my outer area like that so you guys can see so after that's done it's going to chill for a while and just use this blending brush to just blend it out a little bit just a little bit not so much because I don't want it like all over Think that should be enough. Yeah. Very good. Just like that. I want it to be really dark. The next thing I'm going to be doing is using a white liner and this tiny brush to just. These are not the products, so I'm just going to skip that part and um, let you guys know what the next thing on the product is going to be. Yeah, so the next product I'm going to be using. The Divine Stars Ruba Beauty Highlighter Palette. This is what it looks like. This is shade in Orion. I don't know if it is Orion or Orion, but this is what the packaging looks like, and this is what it is. So, this is you were born to glow. I'm just going to be tapping it a bit because it's really pigmented and just putting it here on my high point of my <laughs> and my chin area. Yes, yes, yes. Justice, my dear. Okay, 
yes guys this is the finished look i'm so 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 excited using the products that i got from ruba beauty i already showed you guys everything in the video i created the eye look from the eyeshadow palette the divine stars eyeshadow palette i created the highlighter i did my highlighter with the divine stars highlighter palette in orion i did what else my eyeliner yes my whole eye look and i used the beauty blender to blend out i also got a brush i used to do my eye so i'm going to be speaking about the highlighter palette it was really 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 pigmented because i've not already swatched them before it was really really pigmented and for the eyeshadow palette too it was really really really, really pigmented i don't even know why i didn't even swatch those products because I didn't expect so much from them. I love the packaging quite alright because Nigerian brands tend to disappoint, but this one is like I didn't even expect the pink shade I used on my eye to come out this pigmented, but it was, it was really good. The prices are affordable. I'm going to link their Instagram in the description box. I'm going to also leave their handle on the screen so you can follow them and purchase from them. Cute, cute stuff, guys. Cute stuff. I'm definitely, definitely going to be using them for more looks and i love the look i created i look like a goddess <laughs> i think that's why the look came out like this because most of their products their eyeshadow palettes and their highlighter palettes was inspired by the yoruba goddess <laughs>